I bought an electric unicycle. So let's unbox it. It came well packaged in two cartons with plenty of foam around it to protect it. It's an in-motion V5F, which is kind of a beginner wheel, I guess. Doing a little conversion math, I figured out that it should go about 15.5 miles an hour. It weighs 26 pounds, and it should have a range of 22 to 25 miles. This is the charger cord. These are stick-on ankle pads to protect your ankle, I guess. It also came with this mud flap. It's held on the back fender with two screws. This is the charger. It's 84 volts. So that's not a small battery. The trolley handle flips up easily and locks into place. Man, this thing looks good. It's too bad it won't stay this way. To turn it on, you hold your finger down on the power button for a second. It has a big battery level display that's easy to see while you're riding. To turn the headlight on, you just barely touch the power button. There's also an app for your phone. You can turn the headlight on and off from the app and it also gives you an instantaneous speed reading. I watched a lot of videos on YouTube on how to ride and they all said there is a steep learning curve. Just standing on it felt very unsteady, but maybe that's because I was just standing still and not moving forward. I added some foam blocks temporarily to make it a little thicker, uh, to make it a little easier to grasp between my legs. I went back and forth holding on to the bar. After a while, I got to where I could move a few feet without touching the bar. On day two, I rode around my car in the driveway with, with, with my hand on the car. By day three, I was able to free mount sometimes. And, and able to ride around without holding on to anything if I flailed my arms around a lot.
it's getting pretty scratched up already so I added a little padding under the tape here and here and then I still think I need a little more padding here so I added a piece here we'll try that By day five, I was able to ride without so much arm flailing and able to make a U-turn in my driveway. Most of my videos have been about my camper, and uh, this is related. I think this will be a great way to get around in campgrounds and state parks and national parks. A 15 mile an hour top speed is not very fast. The wheel has already given me a warning that I'm going too fast here in my driveway. So if you're thinking of getting a wheel, you may want to look into one with a little higher top speed. So far, that's my only complaint. This thing has been a lot of fun to learn to ride. <laughs> 